So why take the time to learn about stalking? Well, stalking is a really important thing to understand. It is criminal, it is traumatic, and it is dangerous. Stalking is criminal. It is a crime across the United States. That means it's a crime at the federal level, in all 50 states, U.S. territories, tribal lands, and in our military justice system. It might be a misdemeanor or a felony, depending on the jurisdiction and the situation. A lot of people don't realize that stalking is a crime, and so many victims are left wondering, well, what, should I call the police because somebody rang my doorbell or drove by my house? And the answer is that victims can consider reporting to authorities as well as documenting the stalking. Stalking is traumatic. Many stalking victims experience mental health impacts, including depression, anxiety, insomnia, and social dysfunction. Quite a few also lose time from work, many lose their jobs altogether, and a significant number of stalking victims choose to relocate. In fact, one in seven stalking victims move as a result of their victimization. It's important to hear from stalking victims and survivors in their own words. This survivor said, I have given up all hopes of ever having a safe life. For the rest of my life, I will be looking over my shoulder, expecting to see him there. And finally, stalking is dangerous. Stalking often co-occurs with physical violence, including physical assault, sexual violence, and rape. One in five stalkers use weapons to threaten or harm their victims. And in 76% of intimate partner femicides, that's murder of a female partner by a male partner, in 76% of completed and 85% of attempted, there was stalking the year prior to that murder or attempted murder. And yet so often, these early signs of danger are ignored as, oh, it's just texting, it's just ringing the doorbell. In fact, one researcher went so far as to say that stalking is homicide in slow motion. So what's the good news? The good news is that we have an opportunity. Because stalking is one of the few crimes where early intervention can prevent trauma, violence, and even death. When we recognize those early signs, take them seriously, connect victims to resources, and hold offenders accountable, we can keep our communities safe from this prevalent and terrible crime. That's why it's so critical that you learn about stalking and how to know it, name it, and stop it.